project uh, built with MVC1. And when I try to open it, we get this nice uh, Visual Studio conversion wizard. So I'll click Next, and then I'll click Finish. It's going to do uh, it's going to do an in-place upgrade uh, without any backup, so I recommend backing up first. And uh, you can see here we have this dialog that says, uh, you know, these library class libraries are targeting an older version of the .NET framework. I'm going to say upgrade them all to target .NET 4. And uh, it's going to chug along. And what it's doing here is updating your references. It's adding uh, the updated scripts to your script folders, which is a common uh, step that I always forget when I'm manually upgrading. And it's changing the references to MVC2. So you notice here that uh, what we don't do here is we don't get rid of any existing scripts. So uh, NerdDinner 1.0 was written back when jQuery 1.2.6 was released. But now we've added jQuery 1.4.1, so I can go ahead and take that uh, and, and change my references if I want. And now, when I run this project, we should hopefully see that it still works. Uh, if you run into any problems with the upgrade wizard, do let us know once it's out there. Um, not sure what we can do at this point, but. <laughs> and, oh, and there's an, um, there's an out of band one. If you want to stay in Visual Studio 2008 and you want to upgrade M from MVC1 to MVC2, uh, the lead developer of uh, MVC, his name's Alon Lipton, uh, I'll, I'll uh, make sure that I get that URL to you. He posted a uh, tool he wrote for upgrading MVC1 to MVC2. All of this is also in the MVC2 release notes. Uh, so here we go, Nerd Dinner. It still works. All right. So on, on top of that, we made a lot of improvements uh, based on your feedback uh, to the framework. Bug fixes, API tweaks, all sorts of things. <laughs> So uh, all of these things combined together will hopefully make you a more productive developer when you're building web applications with ASP.NET MVC. And hopefully by making you more productive, it also helps uh, fulfill the goal that I mentioned earlier, more cash. So one of the things that we want to ensure that we're doing the right things is uh, we built MVC with a focus on transparency. And by that I mean heavy community involvement. So forums, Twitters, blogs, CodePlex, Stack Overflow. Uh, we look at all these different places. We'd, we'd love people to all go to one place, but we know that that's not going to happen, so we go everywhere. We also ship early and often so that we can get your feedback. We want to hear what you have to say about the product early on when we have time to make the changes that are necessary. And this has happened several times where I can point to several core features, huge features, big changes, major design revamps that were inspired by customer feedback. And so it, it's been uh, extremely important to us to get that feedback in early. And, and that's why we have all these preview releases. We also like to try out new ideas. So we uh, you know, had these functional project templates, which means that we had this whole uh, project template that had membership, for example, built in and account management. Uh, we include our unit tests when we ship our code. So that's a 2,140 unit test with 94% code coverage. And all that source is on CodePlex. Uh, as I mentioned before, we release under the uh, open source uh, MSPL license, which is an open source initiative or OSI certified license. So it's true open source. Uh, one of the other things I want to mention is that MVC Contrib, which is a uh, third party non Microsoft library f uh, of additions for MVC, uh, recently joined the ASP.NET Code ga uh, Gallery on the CodePlex Foundation. So the CodePlex Foundation is an open source foundation that's separate from Microsoft, though we initiated it. It's a separate entity from Microsoft uh, that, uh, that can host open source projects. And, and what, this, what this foundation allows is that we, Microsoft developers can actually contribute to projects that are in the foundation. Uh, so it, it's made it easier for Microsoft contributions. So for example, uh, T4 MVC, which is a T4 template, uh, that uh, can generate uh, action link methods that are strongly typed based on your actions and all this uh, was contributed to MVC Contrib by a Microsoft developer. 
So this is a, a, a huge advance in terms of uh, what we can do with open source. That, uh, whereas before we could only consume it and maybe release it as part of our templates. So as we heard in the keynote today, uh, Microsoft is looking to contribute, uh, is going to be able to contribute to jQuery, assuming they accept our patches. Uh, but uh, Microsoft more and more is uh, in the position to contribute to open source. So that's what we have for MVC2. That's what's in it for you. And hopefully we can continue this uh, on the road to MVC3, uh, continue your involvement, which uh, is paramount to uh, our success. So thank you very much. Here's some references for you.